Hello everybody! Today I thought we would do Gatsby's yearly haunted maze made out of items that we got from the dollar store. See Gatsby? Oh my gosh! What's going on? Come on! Made it to the dollar store. <gasps> It's already Christmas stuff. The Halloween stuff is already gone. This is all I got. The question of the day is, if Ryan bought eight things at the dollar store, how much did he spend? Hmm. Halloween balloons, purple streamers, and some wall decorations. We're gonna have to make do with those. Oh well, we'll make it work. We'll just have to use all my dollar store items from last year. Ready for the haunted house, Gatsby? Oh. Can you do it, Gatsby? Are you ready? Here he goes, entering the ghostly tunnel. What a brave court! Wait a minute, could this room be shaking? Will he make it? Oh, there he goes. Off to the scary skulls. Don't stare into their eye holes, Gatsby. Oh no, look at these hanging ghouls! These don't seem to face Gatsby at all. They scare me though. Look out for the rat! Gatsby turns the corner but stops! A tunnel full of jack-o'-lantern balloons! <laughs> and oh no, spiders! Whoa! Those tarantulas came out of nowhere! But look, he's wagging his tail! Moving on to the hallway of eyeballs? He doesn't look amused. Gatsby makes his way to the next portion of the maze, a skeleton party! Okay, now he moves on, weaving his way around. Come on, go, go. Ooh, look at the spooky graveyard. Gatsby, don't get lost in the fog! And there he goes! Oh, he made it, you guys! What? What is this? Where'd you get this from? <gasps> what did you do? You took someone's arm. <gasps> Congratulations and happy Halloween. Is it time for us to start the vlog? share with you guys our morning routine. What do we do this morning, Gatsby? I started the morning off by greeting Gatsby in his bed in the office. This morning he gave me a handshake. Next we decided to do our morning stretches. Then a little bit of corgi cuddles and belly rubs. Next, it was time to take Gatsby out for his morning potty. Look at that happy walk. And there he goes. After the potty, Gatsby wanted to go on a long walk. I wanted to go on a short walk. So we compromised and went on a long walk. When we got home, it was time to wipe Gatsby down with baby wipes. Breakfast time? Yeah, breakfast? And then it was time for Gatsby's breakfast. I spray it down so his vitamin supplement will stick. And there he goes, listen for that crunch.
After that, it's time for some more cuddling. Gotta rub the corgi butt for good luck for today. As a special treat, we decided to open a package for him. We got another donut for a Halloween one. I hope you have a great day and a happy Halloween from Cullen from Arlington Heights, Illinois. Gatsby loves his donut toys. Look at him inspecting it. And now you guys are all caught up. So I thought I would finally update you guys on some of the projects that we've been so busy working on for the past few months. Anyone who has been watching us for a while will know that we produce the best Corgi calendars ever. If you look at the calendars here, this one starts off kind of like in the morning. This one's kind of like noon time. This one's kind of like afternoon. This one's at sunset. So, what do you think the next cover is gonna look like? We finally finished taking all the pictures, editing them, and they are currently being printed, which is super, super exciting. This year especially has been so difficult for doing the calendar. We started planning this calendar months and months ago. A lot happened though in the beginning of September, including the California fires that caused us to get really delayed. That's what it looks like outside right now. A lot of other times we had to delay it again because the weather was just not cooperating. It turns out it's way too foggy and it's not gonna clear up. Working with all of the coronavirus rules that are in place in our county. A lot of the times when we took the pictures, they failed, so we had to take them again. The cover photo took three tries on three different days, and there was so much preparation for it. And then on the day that we were gonna take it at night, the camera died, and it wasn't the battery. It just decided it would not turn on no matter like what, what we tried. The photographer ended up getting injured um, with a pinched nerve, and he couldn't even move his arm. I ended up having to find another photographer to pick up the final pictures of the calendar out of sheer luck and so much determination and so much stress and so much work, we were able to finally finish the calendar. The amount of work that goes into these corgi calendars is like, oh my gosh. I am planning on launching the new calendar on November. First. When you purchase something from Corgi on Fleek.com, you're really supporting Gatsby and me. It's all of our work that we put together. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's continue on with the vlog. Gentle. Good boy. It's time for me to head off to the gym. Okay. He's like, what? See you guys there. Time to head back home and continue on with the day. It is such a nice day outside today. I think we should take Gatsby out after we go to Target. May as well check out the Halloween costume store here. Ooh, you can be Mario and Yoshi. Trolls from Trolls World Tour. Look at our face. Our Wonder Woman 84, which hasn't even come out yet. Black Widow. <gasps> can be Jojo Siwa. I sent it to Sean. He said, live your dream. Child's play, like the horror movie. It's like the worst candy. Just gotta pick up the baby wipes. We can go. Got the baby wipes. Off to the park. Yes, are we ready? What are we gonna bring this time? This, you want this? Yes, okay. I'm just gonna stay here. Okay. Right now I'm gonna head over to the supermarket to grab food for dinner. Let's see what they have. Yeah, right here. Shallots, lemon, parsley. Got everything on the list. I'm happy you're back. The dog is too. Okay, so for dinner today, we are gonna be making some shrimp and garlic pasta. Ooh, I really, really want garlicky shrimp. We got some wild shrimp over here, and it's frozen. So 
it like this, and then that should help defrost it relatively fast. Okay, while we wait for that to defrost, we are going to just chop up the shallots and garlic. Two shallots. It says two cloves of garlic. I think that is not gonna be enough. You can fight off all the vampires with all this. None of these are defrosted. All you do is you just take and cut the top. Then if the vein is showing, you can get rid of that too. You can of course do it with a knife or whatever, but scissors is the hack. Ta-da! Shallots. Fresh red pepper. You can put a little bit just to grab later. So the water is boiling. For the pasta, you want to add some salt. Linguine here. We want to cook it for just about six minutes. In the meantime, we want to season the shrimp with salt and pepper. It looks like it's pretty much ready. Unfortunately, there wasn't any Italian parsley, so we had to go with regular parsley. Pour it into a bowl. We're gonna add some white wine. The alcohol will cook out. We're gonna also add juice from one whole lemon. The alcohol is kind of like cooking out. We're gonna add that one. Butter is melted, so we're gonna re-add the shrimp along with our parsley. Oh, it's pretty good. I'm gonna eat super well today. Ta-da! Ooh, look at that. And we can add some salt and pepper too. Ooh, that looks so yummy. It's time for me to eat. Mmm, pasta is really good. I think I overcooked the shrimp just like a tiny bit. It's still really good though. I think it's better if you undercook it in the beginning and then bring it back and then finish cooking it. Cause I think bringing it back, I, it was already like cooked too much. Better than no shrimp pasta. <laughs> Gatsby, I haven't forgotten about you. We gotta get your food. We're doing this one still. I mentioned in the last vlog, nature's plan. It is from a pet nutritionist. The really high quality meats that are put inside of it. So that's the other good thing. Gatsby has become so energetic and he really, really loves it. So we're gonna continue using this one. It looks like this. It's freeze dried and we have to let it rehydrate for three minutes. By the way, we're not getting sponsored or anything and we're just trying it out. I also got him this Pro Power Plus, like probiotics that helps with their digestive system. Sprinkle that over the food. The time for you to eat, Gatsby? He's like, oh my gosh, that's all ready. Yeah? Okay, here it is. Look how fast he just like gobbles it. He's like, oh my gosh, it's so yummy. It's like the highlight of his day, every day. I notice. He's still eating the green tripe dry by a uh, pet kind for breakfast. And Dr. Marty went to Cornell. That's my alma mater as well. They have a really good vet program there. Hey, dude, did you enjoy your haunted house? Anyway, we are going to head to bed right now. If you want to check out our merchandise, make sure to go to corgionfleek.com. See you guys in the next vlog. Good night. Hey, Gatsby, check out this awesome fan.